Hello, and welcome to another AI tutorial at Mika Films AI. Today, I will be showing you some tips and techniques on how to create stunning cinematic quality images using Leonardo AI and Google Image FX. After which, we can use them to create cinematic videos in Kling AI that we can use in production settings like a short film. To begin, head on to Leonardo AI, link below, and click on the image creation icon. Here, we will be using Leonardo's cinematic Kino model. We can choose a sub-model. For now, let's click on cinematic as well. Next, we type in our prompt. So let's start with something simple, an elf in the middle of a forest. Now there are two approach to this. I can go ahead and generate this basic prompt, or I can go to chat GPT to enhance the prompt. So let's try both and see the results. So here is the image without chat GPT, and here is the image with chat GPT. As you can see, there are some artifacts and issues that may crop out. This is due to several things, prompt description, and also Leonardo's prompt adherence not exactly being the best, but we can fix that. So we can make the prompt a little bit more detailed by adding in the gender, race, type of hair or hair color, what the character is wearing, and the kind of expression they have. We can again choose to generate the prompt or have ChatGPT enhance it. For now, I will just generate the image. And there we get an image with less or no artifacts. But let's say we do have some artifacts that we want to remove there are several ways to do it. We can either go to Photoshop and use their generative fill to remove it, or go to Free Pick, link below. With Free Pick, you will get some free credits daily, sign up using your socials, click on Image Generator. At the top, we will select the Retouch function. Upload your image. With the brush tool selected and size adjusted, highlight the area you want to remove, and simply type the prompt remove object. The AI tool will give you a few variations for you to choose. Download the image. Keep note that this works for small artifacts, so I suggest re-editing your prompt first and try again in Leonardo to reduce the unwanted artifacts in the image. We can go to Kling to make a video out of this, but first, let's explore another tool called ImageFX by Google Labs, link below. We will use the exact same prompt. Again, you can write in your own or from ChatGPT. We will choose a few image guidance for a realistic look, edit some of the words such as realistic, cinematic, and photographic to ensure we get the right look we want and click on generate. Here is the image it created, either using chat GPT to enhance the prompt or simply writing it yourself. There are some artifacts at times, but I find the prompt adherence is much better than Leonardo. And this tool is free, at least for now. Now let's say you want to create a very fantasy-like scene, like this elf riding a unicorn. Sometimes if the prompt is somewhat relevant to the real world, you can get fairly decent results. But sometimes, if you conjure something that is very fantasy-like, like this orc warrior leading his army into battle, you would not be able to get the realistic cinematic look that you want. So what do we do? Well, let's just download the image and go back to Leonardo. You would need the paid plan for this, which is to use the content reference tool. We can upload the image we had earlier, which is very concept art, like add it in as a content reference. Copy the exact prompt and click generate. Now, sometimes if we use too much of the words like realistic or cinematic, it kind of cancels the cinematic Kino model, so let's remove those words and try again. So there you have it, we have a much better results. And here is an example of how I generated an image in ImageFX and bring it to Leonardo, and how I converted that image to a video inside Kling. So speaking of Kling, let's look at that next. So before we begin, always remember to upscale your image. You can use Leonardo's upscaler if you have the credits, but for a free solution, go to this site here, link below. Upload your image and upscale it. Once ready, download the image. Head on to Kling. Again, Kling works faster and better on the paid account, so you can consider subscribing. Click on AI videos, upload your upscaled image here. Now we can write the prompt. I find shorter and more direct prompts works best for Kling. So we will write, still camera shot of elf warrior looking around in fear as if he is being watched. In the next video, I will go trove more on the different types of prompts we can use for Kling, so do consider subscribing. And with that, Kling gives us a video from the image we created earlier. Here's another example of how I applied the techniques shown earlier. 
I hope you enjoyed this sharing and do look out for our next video on prompting in Kling.